let's let's make some picks real quick uh, for two terrible teams. South Carolina is going to travel to Texas A&M. They've never had success there, um, and they're not going to have success this year. Um, they're 14-point underdogs. It's a 12 o'clock game. It's a weird crowd, uh, the Texas A&M, that whole thing that they do the night before – Games it's extremely cult weird. It's cult. Um, if you've never seen it, go look it up. I'm not sure what it's called. It's like it's the, the twelve man. It's called the midnight yell. The midnight yeah yeah. Go look it up. It's extremely weird. Um, but none of that's going to matter. It's a cult. Ma- it's a cult. Yeah. The Gamecocks the, are going to lose by 28. I guess again. the only thing is is the only we've just kind of reached the F it mode in this season, and I feel that's kind of what we did last year. And I'm not saying it's going to be the same result because. We felt like we'd hit rock bottom after right. the Florida game last year. Came out a week later, Tennessee game. I'm not saying that's going to happen this year. Um, I, I think we cover the spread. Yep. But, again, our our biggest weakness is our offensive line, and Texas A&M's defensive line is insane. Yeah. So, I honestly, God, I feel bad for Spencer. He's going to be running all day. Yeah. They're going to have to dial up plays or just quick passes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've use got – Use Harbor more. At this point, let's yeah. just get some freshmen in and get them some reps. Yeah. I've got Texas A&M to win, unfortunately. I hate picking against the Gamecocks. And then Clemson plays at 2 o'clock on the CW after um, the newest episode premiere of The Flash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the CW. My, how the mighty have fallen. Right, and right before that, I think Sesame Street comes on. Um, people just maybe be some reruns over, of Dawson's Creek or pe- something like that. People will just be finishing up their, their morning cartoons on right. the CW. Um, then you watch some football. Exactly. Best of both worlds. Uh, I I think Clemson – I don't know, man. They're they're kind of trending down. NC State, though, isn't great. Yeah. But Clemson's always has kind of struggled at um, yeah. playing at NC State. But I think that they do win this game. I don't know if they cover the spread. Yeah. But I think they win the game. Do you have anything to say? Speak up. Nothing to say. Yeah, just like our football seasons. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I kind of close up everything. Both both the teams we cover are kind of in just weird. Where yeah. where where we normally are? Right. Clemson's in they're they're in an area and territory they're not used to being in. Exactly. Um, God, I hope it changes, and I hope it changes soon for us. Hope it doesn't change for Clemson. Yep. Um, so, but we'll be back next week to yep. recap the games. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, put down in the comments. Uh, we appreciate all the support this season. Um, hopefully, we end the season. Well, God, dude, we still have five games left. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, both pro- there's there's time both pro- for both programs to make a run yeah. and turn it around. Yeah. I have more faith in Clemson turning it around than I do South Carolina, but I think they'll both start. They'll both continue on this trend at their own. Well, one thing, good thing for. Gamecocks, even though we we're losing, we play better at home. Yep. So after Last four is at the, home. after this week, all our games are at home. Clemson after this week, the next three games are at home. Then they finish in Columbia. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. The, um, the thing is, before the end of the season, South Carolina in the middle of the year always tends to win a game that they shouldn't. So yeah. they're not going to win this game, but it wouldn't <laughs> shock me if they did. If, if we we're playing at home, we it right. might be different. But we'll see y'all next week. Thank y'all.